Hey, I'm Brian. And I'm Molly. We're the Wallens. We're musicians who travel the world together, and we sleep in our van. In other words, life is normal. Well, it's a crazy, beautiful world. And it will not be tame. This week, we're in one of my favorite places on Earth, the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. This is a beautiful place, filled with some of the friendliest people you'd ever want to meet. And a little thing called Lake Superior. We started our trip in Iron County. I have some great friends there who hosted us for a house concert. I met Paul and Susan when they were in Illinois. I played at a wine shop owned by Susan called Market Alley Wines. Paul took a job with the Iron County Economic Chamber. And Susan now manages a great coffee shop in Iron River called Contrast Coffee. We're becoming regular customers. Iron County has a lot to offer in terms of the outdoors. Paul and Susan live out amongst the trees and rivers of the Ottawa National Forest. So it was a perfect backdrop for a house concert. I'm pretty sure that a good time was had by all. Fall was in the air in the UP. The leaves were starting to turn along US 2. So we got some gorgeous scenery on our drive from Iron County to the Keweenaw Peninsula. That's right, a peninsula within a peninsula. We had a gig at the historic Orpheum Theater in Hancock, so we booked a campsite at the Hancock City Campground. It was a pretty fair value at $15 a night, but the facilities left a little something to be desired. All right, give me your honest thoughts about this campground. Uh, my honest thought is it's okay for 15 bucks especially. Um, the campsite itself was was shady and it was peaceful, so that's nice. Uh, the, the ground wasn't very level. No. It wasn't really all that easy to get set up, so. And every spot seemed to be different. Yeah, every spot was very different and there's not a way to look at the sites online before you book. And uh, the bathrooms were not the cleanest. There's a sign that said that they clean every day at 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. And uh, I saw nothing to suggest that, that they actually do. So. Well, the men's restroom. The yeah. women's was great. While we were in the neighborhood, we had to make a stop in Calumet. It's an old copper mining town, and it's full of incredible architecture as a result. A strike, drop in copper prices during World War I, and the Great Depression eventually led to the downfall of the mines, but the historic buildings remain. One of our favorite spots in Calumet is a little coffee shop called Cafe Rosetta. We first stopped in back in April, and they've since moved down the street to a bigger location. Still has the same great charm and coffee. Back in Hancock, we were ready to take the stage at the Orpheum Theater. Set in a 102-year-old vaudeville theater, the Orpheum is one of the coolest venues we've gotten the opportunity to play. It makes us small-time independent musicians really feel like we've made it, being able to step out into the lights on a big stage. After we wrapped up a lovely evening in Hancock around the campfire, it was time to get some rest and head for Marquette. You could say it's the capital of the UP, and I've probably spent the most time there over the last few years. I'm fortunate to have some great friends who put us up whenever we're in town. Robbie and Kira really take care of us, which frees us up to be creative and enjoy exploring the town. Crazy Beautiful World, the theme song for this series, was written in Marquette. It's a crazy beautiful world And it will not be tamed Snow and fire and wind It's where your life began You've got to walk a crooked road And get some dirt and Anytime we're in town, we play at Black Rocks Brewery. They have when awesome beer, a super fun crowd, and a great outdoor space in the summer. There's nothing like cranking up the sound and grabbing a 51K at Black Rocks. So any night there is a great night. 
Unfortunately for us, this was a short trip, and we had to get back to Indiana for a friend's wedding. So the next morning, we left the UP and headed south. That meant a trip across an engineering marvel, the Mackinac Bridge. It's the longest suspension bridge in the Western Hemisphere, spanning nearly five miles across the Straits of Mackinac, the confluence of Lake Huron and Lake Michigan. Of course, any trip to this area requires a quick detour for something sweet. So we stopped in Mackinac City, gateway to Mackinac Island. How do you pronounce it? <laughs> you pronounce it Mackinac, which I didn't always know. <laughs> Still we, my favorite thing to make fun of him for. Yeah. Well, we don't have time to go to Mackinac Island today, but we do have enough time to stop and get some of that famous Mackinac City fudge, which I've actually never had. When I think of significant places in my life, there are three that instantly come to mind. Indiana, Colorado, and the UP. If there's anywhere that my spirit is lifted and my heart feels a little bit fuller, it's the UP, and that's not just because of the scenery. It's mostly because of the people. You often hear about Southern hospitality, but the most genuine hospitality I've ever experienced is up north in the UP. Thanks to all the awesome friends that have made it feel like that for us. And thanks for watching. Next week, we'll be headed to the Quad Cities where Iowa meets Illinois on the banks of the Mississippi River. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.